This is another Tutorial Tuesday, but it's going to be a little different because we have a special guest. Her name is Kalina. Hi. Hey! So, Kalina and her mom are over, who is my mother-in-law, right now, for Mother's Day. So, she's been wanting to make a polymer clay diamond painting pen. They just got into it, right? How long ago? Well, you gave us books for Christmas, the journals. That's right. Notebooks and for Christmas. We finished those pretty quick and bought some more from you. Yes. So now they're wanting to make clay pens. So we thought we would do, you know, a Mother's Day, Sister's Day <laughs> pen making video for this Tutorial Tuesday. So it's going to be awesome. So do you want to tell them what we're going to make? Well, I plan to go outside the box and make a longer wand and then a mini. Yeah, yeah. So she's going to make, a, you're making a mini pen? Yeah. She's going to be making the first mini pen that you will see on Crafts with Crashly. I'll probably with, make one too. With maybe. Crashly's help because I with don't Crashly's. know what I'm doing here. I've done other, lots of other art projects, but haven't, it's been a good 10 years since I've worked with polymer clay. And I'm sure it's changed a lot since then. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there's different. There's so many different types. I've worked with regular clay and I don't know, just lots of other stuff. But yeah, not this that. is gonna be fun. So, so. We're, yeah, we're making wands too. So like Marissa, if you're here, this one's for you. Not really. It's for her, but still, you know, <laughs> Marissa. If it up. works out, it can be for you too. It could be. Yes. Good idea. So she's using my fancy board here because I love her and it's easier. And I'm using a ceramic tile, which we talked about two videos ago, I think. This is literally a bathroom floor tile. That's what it is. Well, you can tell. It's technically Look at your the kitchen bottom. floor tile. I don't know. But... Oh, it is? Yeah. It is my kitchen floor. Like, I don't know what all this stuff is, but it's literally an extra piece of tile. It's what it is. Yes. Fingernails, chalkboard. Yes. That, to my knowledge, is stuff to help it stick to the uh, glue that you put down before you place the tile kind of concerned about it moving it'll be all right we'll be fine so yeah so she's gonna be making an extra long pen lift it up oh hey that's a good idea are we gonna be using that I don't think so okay well if we do it's there this is why she's my sister and I love her well that's not <laughs> technically why but it's like partially why I'm happy about it you know <laughs> so anyway Crashly is here, and now this isn't sliding. So yeah, find something rubber. Yeah, silicone baking mat. We use it all the time to keep uh, mixing bowls from sliding while we're trying to bake cookies or cakes. She's versatile, look at her. Hey, and she's got a cool watch That on. was actually mom's idea. She came Aww, up with that. Happy mommy's day. Yep, so, so shout out to my mama. So you want to make the wand pen, but you don't want to close off the end. Is that right? Correct. I okay. would like to still have the extra I have to take my ring piece off. that goes on the end. I can't think of what the name of it is. Multiple design? Yes. Oh, what a noob. What a noob, right? I'm just kidding. Here, I'm unmarried to your brother for a little bit. Will you set that over there? Gotta oh be nice or I'll lose it. Look at that indent. I'm still married. <laughs> anyway, um, what are you talking about? Oh, so I made wands in the past, and there's even wands on Etsy, but I've had it to where the handle was at the end and the multi-placer, it was closed off. So she wants the multi-placer on, so we put our brains together, and she has a really brilliant idea on how we're going to do that. So I'm not going to do that, though. Just I'm just going to make it on this one. But we're going to make different wands, but we'll both be making wands. So tell them how we're going to make this long one. Well, my idea, and this is why I'm making a mini as well, is I plan to take one of these two pins and cut it in half and use this end in addition to my wand using, what did you say it was? Light? Ultra light! Ultra light! Sculpting. And then yeah, I'll use... Yeah, sing it like that though. Ultra light! Bam! And no questions asked. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> what perfect timing was that? Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Starting. Um, sing it, Bobby. This just makes me think of the rock group. The what? Sick, Sick puppies. <laughs> oh no! Sick kittens. You know. <laughs> anyway. Looking in through the window. Anyway. The other end is going to be my mini. So that's why I decided to do a mini as well because I wanted to utilize all of it and not waste any. No pink pen left behind or parts of the pink pen. So right. since you're cutting in half, you, you can do that part now. Okay. We may have done a test run, y'all. 
but we figured out the easiest way. Let me get rid of this one. So she's about halfway in? Yeah. Okay. I'm using her lovely board to kind of measure halfway. Oh, you're actually using it. the measuring parts. Impressive. Yep. And this here is an X-Acto knife I just got from Joann's. That's clay. It's not gross stuff. Well, I guess it's kind of gross, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! It's really so, bad. It's bad night. So I'm scoring it all the way around. I don't have to go all the way through. Hey, who's winning? Your score. With the score? Yeah. Right now, the knife. Hey, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. <laughs> I'm a potty mouth. Sorry. And then... Oh, I didn't score well. Oh. Don't break my pen. My achy, breaky pen. But I'm trying to break the pen. I just don't think you understand. <laughs> Oh god, this is dangerous. <laughs> Not gonna be that dangerous. I'm turning it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna let you do your thing. Oh you guys like my shirt? Hey. No, it just says it says cashly right now. No, it doesn't. Ta -da! Oh she did it! Did you see me? I missed that part. That's my favorite part. Okay, I'll watch it on the premiere. Yeah, because it'll be there. <laughs> it'll be there. So now she's gonna set one off to the side, right? Yes. So and she has this goober. And this can go off to the side so I don't stab myself because it's right. bound to happen. Yes. So now we're going and she needs to stick those together. I'm uneven from where I cut. This side is still even from the end. So it's mm -hmm. still. So her crappy cut end is going to go on the inside. Hey! I don't know why I never thought to do this. But I think it's because we didn't know about this stuff. So Yeah, I didn't know of ultralight. We didn't either. So set that off to the side because your world's about to change. Ooh. We are running so low on ultralight. A new, a new fantastic point. Of, is that the way it goes? The Close to that. Okay. That's part of the song eventually. It is. Okay. So you can set that over there real quick. So you're about ready. And you guys heard me talk about ultralight before, right? And why we use ultralight. Basically to avoid top heaviness. I sorry, I have to condition it so you can feel the magic. Okay. How about you condition it? I can do that. And even ultralight has to be conditioned. It's like marshmallows. See, this is kind of similar to uh oh, I just So I'm working hand throwing with ceramics. Hand you have throwing. To actually throw it to get the air bubbles out, but to make it also movable because it has to you have to be able to move That's it more. crazy. For this, you just so. have to work it to get air bubbles out. I can't imagine throwing clay. Can you? Oh my oh, god, I would die. Let me tell you, stress reliever. Really? Oh yeah. Is it like one of those places where you go to relieve stress and you just like break glass? Like you get so many glass bottles and you get to throw it <laughs> down the way till you could. Listen to it shatter. You could. You take about a pound of clay and you have a big board or big area. The countertop would work great actually. And you just take it and you. And that when you slam crazy. it down, because you just slam it, and it just, for real, and you pull it up, and you do it again, and you do it over and over again in order to get, it forces any little air bubbles out of the center. That's crazy. If you guys have ever done that or seen that done, put it in the comments, because now I want to know. Oh, and quick disclosure here, we have Kerwin and Kerwin's mom, which I refer to as mom as well. Jenny, yeah. And the two kids <laughs> in the other room, so if you hear background... We, we've noticed tonight that Kerwin yells when he talks. He talk yells. He's not going off on the kids, y'all. But that's what you may hear back there. Just saying. He just gets overly excited about things. Yeah, and then if you tell him he's yelling, Especially like, why are you yelling? he's doing math, which <laughs> is what he's doing. He goes like the back door way to do math. I, I think care. everybody understands the kids being home right now and making noise while they're yes. trying to do stuff, work stuff. I'm gonna let you do this, my hands are getting sticky. Okay, so now this, we're using this as a shell, right? So we're just, oh my gosh, let me just, uh. Anyway. It's like dough. It is. So we're using this as like a shell. So we are going to be putting this around the pen and then we're going to bake it and then we're gonna be recovering it. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't want your pen to be really thick, right? No. No, okay, that's what I thought. So I don't think we're going to need all of this, but let me just try to do this because we're going to have to both be using it because I don't really have to use it on mine. So I just took some of it, I'm flattening it out, and I have my pasta roller right here. You can't... She made room for me, yeah. so she pushed it off to the side. Yeah. So I'm just rolling it out on the thickest setting. Doesn't have to be perfect. So now you're going to, you know, wrap and 
Rapping, yeah. And I don't know what I'm trying to Probably say. Probably not the best hand gesture. Rapping. <laughs> more? This is <laughs> more? more? <laughs> when Nora was in preschool. Wait, was it preschool? I think it was before preschool. preschool. She was only like one. What did she learn that from? Uh, the daycare in Jeff City. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but they they have trouble communicating with their babies. I'm sure you guys know. Happy Mother's Day. Anyway, um, but they teach them sign language. And that's what she would do. More? Yep. More, please? Is it please? Was this please? That's what she did for please. I don't know that it is. Please? That's what she did. Yeah, we, yeah. Know, we don't know ASL in this house, more? but this was more. More? Please? I think that's just please. And little baby Nora going, more? More? Okay, you gotta take that tip out, girl. Pull and wiggle, pull and wiggle, pull and wiggle. Can I pair of pliers? Girl, please. My hands are sticky. Pull and wiggle. Done. So when I did it, it snapped, crackled, and popped. I've done it a couple times. I didn't want to break it. Yeah, and if you're wrapping these in ultralight too, you do not have to roll it out on a sheet. I just do, but look, she barely touched it right there. Can you guys see this? Ultra light is so. Uh, how do you explain it? Is it flimsy? Malleable. It's, whoa, that's a million. <laughs> that's a millionable dollar. Word. Whoa. No. <laughs> Whatever. But you gotta wrap it. What, what helps it if it's on the sheet is getting it wrapped evenly, or else you run into like, oh, this side is super thick. So should I cut a straight line? What you should do is, yeah, take this. This is a tissue blade. So cut a straight line somewhere, probably the one close to you. This yep. one? Mm-hmm. Straight line. Wait, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Um, okay, then get rid of that. And now... And that back to you. Well, that may not have been long enough. It may need to do it right here. So at the top, are you putting a design where the handle is? Yes. Like, will the top be thicker than the bottom? Barely. Barely, okay. But this is to help keep make it long, isn't it? Yeah, so... So I would need it to still cover the whole, where the two pieces are going together. Okay, then just cut right yeah. here. Yeah, start your line there, that's good. And then you can fill any gaps with this because it's the same size. And, hold on, you can cut this half too. Well, I, I think I'll cut it when I get over okay, to it fine. so I have a better idea so I don't cut it too short. Yeah, that would be bad. Not that there's anything wrong with short things out there. Hey, I'm short. She is short. She, Five, two, and a half. I had to get the sugar out of the top I gotta get that half. <laughs> You've earned that half. Hey, at 33, I think so. You're 33? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Nobody thinks so. Old lady. I've Just been guessed at 12. Within the last 12? Within the last year. Well, you know, this isn't nice because we're not your face isn't on camera. They can't judge. Maybe if I find a cute picture of her, I'll put it in here. I don't know. So right now it's still going to be very flimsy. So what we're going to do is we're going to bake it very carefully. <laughs> yeah, because this part. Yeah, with ultralight, like, you just wanted to try to get it as even across as possible. But since we're putting another layer of clay over it, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because you're putting more clay over it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So as long as it's like crazy even, and what I like to do is I like to pinch the ends or else the ends where your point drill is going to be going. I'm trying to get that a little bit down. Oh, um, you know what? There's a Ziploc. Here. This might help you. This is the Magical Tools. Thank you, Pippa, for buying this for me. But that's one of these. These are smoothers. I don't even see this. Like you said, anymore. I'm covering it with other clay, so. Yes. As long as it doesn't come apart. Which, the um, ultralight, do you need more of these? Sorry, I just took them all from you. No, you're okay. fine. The ultralight is I'm more afraid. flimsy after bake. That's not the point of it. It's more as a, a casting. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Casting. Yeah. But. In this case, it's just mainly going to be an internal bone. <laughs> it's going to work like a bone. It's a bone. It's a spine. Look how long it is. Okay, so you're good with that. So, like. Do you want these ends to be this thick? Because I usually like to pinch them, you know what I mean? Because you're going to put a whole nother layer on top of it. I'm trying to get some of this extra off of mm. this. Yeah, and another thing about ultralight, y'all, that we found is you can carve it, too. I don't know if you knew that. So you can actually leave it that thick and we can carve it off. So this is how I like to use ultralight. I like to take this tiny ball here. It's so hard to find the center. 
And I like to shove my pen in it. Cause I just what were you talking about what? when I were pinched? Oh, the ends, cause they're thicker, you know, cause like a oh. pencil. But again, you can carve it off, so it's okay. Well, that'll be fine. So I think I'm gonna make my wand have a handle. So I think I'm just gonna do ultralight. Mine's gonna end. have a oh. handle, but it's gonna be like a detailed handle that's thin. Yeah, and guys, just FYI, this is not a wand off because I would die. Just saying, I would be you murdered. You would not. I would. So, Kalina you here. You are an excellent artist. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, but you're better. <laughs> you guys, okay, if, if she I wish you could me, see my deadpan look when she said that. <laughs> <laughs> she is amazing. If she sends me pictures before this premiere, um, I will put them in here, like, now. <laughs> and show you guys some of the work she's done with paintings and didn't you say you had some of your throwing clay yeah i have ceramics that i've made from scratch yes so i'll put some pictures in here so you guys can see i like to go to there's a and if you look you can usually find them in bigger cities because you I, my city is not so huge but we have a uh, a place there that you can actually go and make ceramics or paint and glaze them. Didn't we do that? You went to the... Paint that! Grab that, will you? Oh, yes. It's called you did. the mud room. It is called the mud room. Kirwi and I made this. Where we live. Oh, it's kind of dusty. We made that. Yeah, I'm probably not picking up better on camera. If you hold it still, it might focus. There you go. Yeah. It says, time with you is time spent in paradise. We decorated these, and then what do we have to do? We had to drop them off to, for them to do something. Well. Or leave them there for a little bit. You could, yeah. They have, right now during the pandemic, they have kits to take home. These were made really? years ago. Yeah. She's been, the owner, who I've known because of going there so much, um, <laughs> she's been putting kits together for people to take home and do and then bring back. But... You paint it there or create it there. Clay, of course, for ceramics has to dry over multiple weeks until it's fully dried out. Because if it's not dry, it's not going to fire properly. Um, and you kind of have to keep an eye on it. But she's really good at doing that for you. But That's she fires cool. it and then you can glaze it there. She has all the glazes and you get to... Then you get to pick it up it. after so long? How yeah. long was it? A week. A week! But it's awesome. But that's because she waits till she has a whole bunch to put into the kiln to fire because... The kiln. Kiln. Okay. Come on. I, I, I want a kiln too, but I don't have the money for the energy it takes for those because it's over 400 degrees Fahrenheit. <gasps> to, that's a lot. Oh God, I, I mean, ovens, ovens do that, but I mean, it's far excess of that. Right. And they're huge and they take a lot of energy. So I don't they, know where we would put one. My God. Oh, yeah. No, it's about... Her kiln. I just thought I forgot to preheat the oven and I didn't. Her kiln is the about pan. half the size of that was the chair the kitchen table. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, but she waits till she gets quite a few that she can do all at once. Mm. So then that's why you wait until the end of the Heck week yeah. or the next week. Makes to get sense because she can do more than one. Right? Sorry. Get one of those skewers. That's me jumping to conclusions. <laughs> Plant your feet. Oh my gosh, stop throwing. Okay, so now you're going to carefully... Oh, you didn't see that. Oh, God. <laughs> that was the chair again. You Get it all the way in there. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to... No! Other way. This way? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want it to touch the lot base? Nope. Gotcha. I told and you, my... the last time I worked with a sculpting-like material was back in... Basically, I molded this as an insert, so it's going to be like a pen topper. See? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, last time I worked with Sculpey was probably, well, I got my associate's degree in 2010, 2011, and that class was probably 0809. 0809. 0809. Well, we're going to stop this video for now. We're just letting the ultralight one, the base, bake. Okay, so we have our 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 <laughs> Sculpey Ultralight baked, and we've repositioned our workspace. Work, yeah, 
Yep, because we wanted to zoom you in because now we're just going to kind of, oh, I didn't do the tag questions. It's okay. We'll just like ask questions while we decorate because this part is just going to be doing details. So this we use the ultralight as, what do you call it, the casting maybe? Yeah. yeah. So hers is nice and firm. Like I'm actually surprised. So it will bend a little bit, but we're not going to like overly <laughs> bend it. <laughs> but like mine again is just the, the pen topper. If you see, if I can get it centered in there. There's like this little indent in there. Eh, well, maybe. Eh, eh. There. Hey, see that in there? Okay. So that will go right on a pen. I need a pink pen. Do you have any of that? Yes. A long pink and, pen? And uh, while we have the opportunity, since some ones are away from the area, I'm going to let everybody in on a secret. Oh. This Mother's Day special is mm -hmm. because the pens I'm making, I'm giving to my mom for Mother's Day. Oh. So... <laughs> She's going to love them. She just got, like, for real, into diamond painting. Like, yes. she bought, what size a light pad was that? An A3? An A3. She bought a big old light pad, y'all. She's, like, Granted, I get this. to use it for art, too, but she's the one who bought it. <laughs> right. <laughs> she's all about it, man. Like, I don't know. I'm really excited for her, but she has lots of, like, hand issues where she can't grip. What happened? It was, like, Zach's birthday yeah. or something. She hurt It involved a pinata bat and <laughs> the ground. Yeah, so she has trouble gripping onto things, so and this is yeah. going to help her. She broke her hand, but yeah. it it's all healed, but she still just loses grip sometimes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just doing mine. I just made the handle pen topper, and I'm going to be wrapping the whole thing in sparkle silver because it's just my favorite. And I'm going to try to do a vine flower look throughout. And, oh, I got to take my ring off. What are you going to go for? Um, kind of just a traditional brown wand with some... Uh, like calligraphy type swirls at the end. That's gonna be cool. Why does that make me think of Paisley? I don't know. Paisley's like my favorite. And it's her mom's, it's mom's least favorite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Paisley. So how many, how much clay do you recommend I use for On this? that thing? Yeah. I don't know. Like I would condition that and then I can roll it out for you on the pasta machine. And you just, you can wrap it. Are you wanting one end to be thinner or thicker than the other? Just barely. It's going to taper slightly. Okay, so then I'll, if you condition that, I'll roll it out on the thickest for you, and you'll just want it shaped kind of like this long okay. rectangle, roughly as long as the thing, but <laughs> if, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> because once you roll it out, we'll roll it out this way to where it's longer, and yeah. you wrap. But then you don't have to shape and cut and shape and cut, you know what I mean? Yes. So I'm trying to, and this doesn't have to be perfectly even. I'm trying to warm it up here. That's roughly the same size. Then if we roll it out on the thickest, we should be able to get enough to wrap. Maybe, baby. Bam. So we hope that you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day. So I'm just wrapping this, but yeah, we had a fun Mother's Day. So yeah, we had to make the pens bake. And it already got like really, really late last night. So they're back again today, which is on Sunday, Mother's Day. So we had Mother's Day with all of us, with like me, Kalina, Kerwin, and Kerwin's mom, Jenny. We had that yesterday and we had a lot of fun. We played <laughs> <laughs> a very intense game of hand and foot. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of hand and foot. What's the best way to describe hand and foot? It's a variation of canasta. Yeah. But we also play with quite a few house rules. But you can yeah. you can look up hand and foot online and all the rules are there. It's yeah. a legit game. It's a lot of fun. Like you have like six decks of cards and you make sets. and But you have a partner. So Kerwin and I, they kick our butt every time, y'all. Like, <laughs> And I'm not talking about like... You know, they beat us just a little. No. I'm talking about, like, they stomp our butts to the ground. And so Kerwin and I have, like, this life mission within our marriage, you know, to to consecutively beat them. I, we beat you once. Once. Compared to, you know, them beating us 100,000 times. I think but you still, jinx it when you say, I think we so come over too. and you're like... We got to beat you this time. Well, because, okay, they offered to switch partners. And Kerwin and I were like, oh, no, 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 we can't switch partners. We've made it a life mission within our marriage to beat you. Which they did, but now it's a matter of... Consecutive. Well, we have to beat you the same amount of times that you guys have beat us. Well, or it's not really a victor. <laughs> I don't 
don't know, okay? It's just, it's important, okay? It's important. Do you want to try it? Will that... Okay, yeah. Oh, wait. It might so do you want a thick layer or do you want a thin layer? You're going to need way more than that, girlfriend. It sounds like it. Yeah, I would just condition that whole entire thing. Anything additional, we'll put back. That's what I'm thinking. Learning curve. Learning curve. I hate this. That was unnecessary. Anyway, so I, I was going to roll mine out, like, on a thin sheet and try to wrap it, and then I just decided to screw that, and I'm just kind of sculpting it on there. So <laughs> you're welcome to do the same thing unless you want an even thing. That's what's cool about these long pins, like, because wands aren't perfectly straight, right? Right. So you're made out of wood, usually. Right. And, like, you know, wood usually isn't perfectly straight. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, what was I just talking about? <laughs> playing hand and foot against us. Oh yeah, so <laughs> they came over and we haven't played in a long time. It's been... No, it's been... I mean, with the pandemic and, you know, life. I want to say it was summer of last year. I think it was too because we had the table in there or yeah. something. Yeah, and that was the one time we beat them compared to the 2,500 that <laughs> they beat us. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long time. So they came over, and we played, and it was so much fun. And, y'all, you know Kerwin, right? <laughs> he gets so into these games. Like, if they get extra points or whatever, he's like, oh, game's over. Oh, it's over. No point in playing. <laughs> and I'm just like, shut up. We need one card left. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Might as well not play. Every time we draw, he's like, did you? Did you draw the card you need? Or <laughs> Did you get it? I bet you drew the card that we need, which half the time I do. Or like there's like three <laughs> rounds left and he'll be like, yep, they're about to draw this and this and they're going to go out and yep, it's over. And like, that's not what happens, guys. It's not what happens. He's just negative. Nasty. He gets excited. He definitely does. But he's Kerwin, so we love him anyway, no matter what. Right? But that's what happens when you have two boys in a household growing up that are very competitive. Yeah. Along with. Our father, who's also pretty competitive. And I'm not competitive at all. Just kidding, Kerwin. Yeah, we, <laughs> my whole channel is based on competitivity, basically. I'm just kidding. I've seen some of your uh, videos. <laughs> the tabby <heard> off. <laughs> the, the gnome off. Yeah. But it's fun. You know, it keeps things interesting within your marriage. But I, what I was getting at, we finally got to play last night for Mother's Day when they came over. And, yeah, they kicked our butts. Not really. It was a... It was really close. It was close. I want to say, I think we only beat it by 200 points. Was it 200? Something like that. It was really close. You want to... That makes me want to rematch. No, Watch I can't. That. It's too long. You want it on the thickest or you want it thin? Uh, make that one thicker. Thick? Like a zero? Okay. Zero is the thickest. And then make the next one thinner. So I'll go down to two, two. Two, two. Two, two. Two, two. You know, like a ballerina? Exactly like a ballerina. See, look, I swear, this clay, is that, is the light working here? It, like, has the strips in it already, like wood. I don't like that. I don't know how. It's just, it's magical clay. What's the name of that? Do you still have the packaging? I do, because there's still a piece in there. I think it's there. copper. Is it? I think it's up here. Oh, Thank sorry. I didn't mean to knock it out. It's bronze. Bronze! That was wrong. Yeah, so it was fun. And then today we went to my mother's house. And yeah. Didn't you guys play a really fun game there too? Oh, we did. So if you guys have ever been on What's Her Face's channel, uh, Becky's Madness for Crafting, she plays, or she has these game nights, you know. I think it's on it's on Tuesday nights because it's the same day we do these tutorial Tuesdays. She's actually up next, y'all. So she plays these um, games on Jackbox, Jackbox TV. And my mom's been wanting to find a game that we can all play together interactively, you know, kind of like that. And I was like, what about Jackbox, Jackbox TV? And, oh, I got an air bubble in here. Ew. That's what an air bubble looks like, by the way. Okay. Then you just yeah. pop it. Pop that sucker That's what they look there. like in throne clay, too, for the most part. I keep thinking you're saying throne clay. And I I'm am. like, throne? Oh, not not like a... Like a, like a princess. <laughs> I'm saying throne as in T-H-R-O-W-N. Oh, okay. Like... You've I thrown gotcha. something. <laughs> Just throw it. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, she wanted to play these interactive games, and I told her about Jackbox TV. And so we played, oh, God, what do you say it was called? Quiplash, I think? It's the one where you have to make these crazy answers. And that was so fun. I, I thought that was, was no. it Was it Quibbage? You don't know. Or? No, you don't, we didn't play You Don't Know Jack. Oh, okay. But so now we're back at home, and we wanted to show them what it's like, you know, the game, because Mom paid for it. I think she paid like 
ten dollars but she said she had amazon points whatever the heck that is she's like i don't even know how i got those points i'm like hell maybe i have points anyway you can buy stuff with amazon points apparently so we came home and we wanted to tr like show them and maybe play with them too because we're super competitive and we want to keep playing we have to be about something because we lost a hand and foot <laughs> but <laughs> yeah and now kerwin wants to buy it and it's like what he's like a hundred dollars or seventy five dollars and you get all the little different games yeah for a game pack yeah but it would be fun but the cool thing is if kerwin does buy it we just got our taxes like we've been waiting everyone gotten their tax return and their stimulus we just got ours y'all we got it last week wait when did we get it i think friday actually this past friday mm -hmm. And so he's like, we just got taxes. Maybe that'd be fun to play with your YouTube subscribers. So how fun would that be, y'all? And it's like interactive games. You just, you get a room code. And again, if you haven't seen Becky's Madness for crafting, just look up Jackbox TV. And you do have to pay for it. Like we would have it on, um, you know, Xbox or whatever he's going to buy it on. And, but we can all play together. There's a room code. Anyone who wants to play. I was thinking about maybe playing it in one of my live streams. Which, that's another interesting thing that I want to tell you too, Kalina. What's that? This week's Sunday Social. And again, I'm sorry I missed this past week's Sunday Social, but I have moms, you know. Mother's like, Day, and we were trying to do this. Yeah, and this I wanted this one to be special for you since I missed last week's Tutorial Tuesday, but y'all, I had to catch up on orders. I was drowning. I'm just saying. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to get into that. But I had to. But this one's going to be special for you. I'm sure you guys are loving it already. But... What was I just talking about? Oh, Sunday Social. <laughs> um, so I know I missed today's Sunday Social, but this next one, y'all, is going to be probably the best one I've had yet. And I will tell you why. And Kalina doesn't even know, actually. So my guest is going to be Tia. Like, ta-ta-ta Tia! You know, what's her YouTube name? Tia's Crazy Diamond Addiction. I, I call her Tia, you know? <laughs> I think it's Tia's Crazy Craft Addiction. Anyway, so Tia's going to be my guest, and guess what we're doing? We will not be doing a game. Like I do, like some kind of challenge because I'm competitive and we already discussed this. But we're actually going to be making cleaning slime. Cleaning slime? Cleaning slime. I know. Mom would have a heart attack if she heard the word slime come out of my mouth, probably. Mm -hmm. But cleaning slime... It is the consistency of regular slime. You know, you can have fun with it. Whatever. But cleaning slime has bow bo racks. Is that how you say it? Borax? Borax. Borax. I don't know. I've literally bought borax for the first time for this exact thing. So I don't even know what it's used for. But if you want some, it's in the laundry aisle. Yeah, it's a soap. Yes. It's a very strong soap. That's right. Okay. We're, and the cleaning slime, if you ever looked at your keyboard on your computer, you see so much dust. Right, and you can, it's hard to get to it. You can buy little sprays, aerosol, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. uh, aerosol. You can air. Yeah, and it, you could spray it out, sure, and then it flies everywhere. Um, I don't know if there's other keyboard cleaning things, but the slime you can put over your keyboard, and it just picks it all up. I've seen these slimes before. I've seen people use them in their car in the vents. They're incredible. You're going to get an air bubble there. Just When you seal this part, go up, down, but show them what it looks like right now. It's really cool looking. I'm trying to get it all the way around. Yep. So. I would pinch it from here up and then smooth, but that's just me. You're the expert right now. Well, yeah, but like you're, you, you want to tell them what you did after the story. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> she, she's just an incredible artist. I've learned so much from her. Like, I kind of want you to show them what you came up with, but then again, do you want to leave it as surprises? Yes. So let's just say yeah, we might be making this a thing, not on a schedule. We can't have pressure in our lives to make a commitment to that, right? I mean, well, you, you have enough commitments with the store, right? And, well, and then you do too. And, but yeah. we, we will randomly surprise you with these. I'll say that we have ideas in our brains mesh. Anyway, cleaning slime. So there's other things you can use it for, like in your car, the cup holders, or if you have, I don't know, what else can you think to use cleaning slime for? Hard Any, to reach places. Anything with small crevices that build up dust and right. dirt. And it just like sucks it up. It's just, it's amazing. So T and I will be making cleaning slime. And I thought to make that a surprise for you guys. But then I decided maybe I'll tell you about it in this video in case you guys wanted to make it with us. So we will both be on my live for Sunday Social. 
We will both be making the slime together. I've already talked to her, she's game. So I'm going to tell you guys what you would need to make it if you choose to do that. And it's a good time too with everyone cleaning and mm -hmm. you know getting rid of the germs and stuff. You need two things of white glue. It says white school glue. So <laughs> white glue, y'all, right? I mean, yeah. what's the difference? Just two things of white glue. Two, Some people tubes. might try to get Gorilla Glue or something. Oh yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> that would be too mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. And um, bo bo borax. Borax. And we found borax at <laughs> Walmart in the uh, laundry detergent aisle. And it's behind you. Here, I'll show you what I got. Some people. They might have smaller ones of it. My great grandmother, great grandmother, I believe, used it to uh, get rid of ants. Ah, this is what we got. We got it from Walmart in the laundry. Thank you. In the laundry detergent aisle. I'm one. I don't know if they have a smaller one because we've never had this in our house before. You can buy them in smaller boxes. Yeah, because I don't know what else we we're gonna use this for. And I told Kerwin to buy me two things of white school glue. He came home with this apparently. Oh. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to like measure out, <laughs> probably. But yeah, just white school glue. And gosh, I think that's really all you need. And then food coloring. question for you. I'm so ready. Um, Looks like a big old log. Or brown carrot. Brown carrot? A know. stick is what I'm going for. It's a little thick because of the doing the ultralight cast in the middle. Yeah, usually the, I think that we should have probably made it thinner, but if you want it that thick, then you want it that thick. I was nervous about making it thinner because I didn't want it to be, to break or anything that's, because of the... Uh, that's piece. what I figured. Cause, so yeah. this is fine because it'll be, it's, it's a good grip. Can I feel it? Yeah. That's a good weight too. It really is. It's nice and balanced. <laughs> like a wand should be. Thank you. And it chooses you. Right. We need a block. Okay. Different subject. So what was your I question? I should find a unicorn here and stick it down the middle or a phoenix <laughs> feather. Yes, you should. What was your question then? Uh, where is the wood grain texture sheet? Texture sheet. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Marco! Hello! Oh, over here. Thank you for following. <laughs> um, you also need to help me get the very end. The tips? Yeah, the tips. They, yeah, you don't have to do anything special. You just have to be flat. But all this excess, like you need to, you'll take the knife and mm -hmm. you'll do like what I just did. See and how just I have cut bulging? it out? Okay, that's yeah. what I was asking. That needs to be like, so this is harder to do than it would look. Because if you do it too much, then you risk of your pen popping out, which I don't think you sh won't have an issue with that because you have different ends. Um, but then, so like I cut it flat and I still have a little over. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm out of frame. And then I like pinch it a little bit. Okay. And then I bring my bring it over like this. Yeah, I kind of did that in the beginning, but I... And then if you want it to come to like a pencil point, like do you want it to come to a pencil point? Like mine I kind of do. So like I'll do that and then I'll tilt it and roll. Well, that makes sense. And then I keep going up, keep going up. And now I have even more over. So then it kind of breaks off already, see? I already broke it off a yeah. little bit. So you can peel that off. And you kind of do the same thing, go over it, make sure the pink is covered. Just barely though. You don't want the pink to show or it'll It'll catch the eye. Use this. Sorry. I didn't want to reach over your workspace. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to bite you. Hard. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, so get the boldiness. And then once it's over the flap a little bit, then I take it on here and twist it. So now we have flat thick, and then I'll scoop all that goop out of there. So pull it over the... Like the tip? Yeah, the pink part. Or I don't know if you have pink or blue. Pink. Pink. So you just want it to be very flat or this plastic won't go in. Whoops. So yeah, basically you just want to be able to press it down. 
So I have mine pretty much wrapped the way I want to in the sparkly silver. And again, y'all, we're we're doing these too, so I'm, I apologize now for the shadows and probably the bad lighting quality. We have one giant lamp over there. <laughs> we're doing the best we can in my kitchen slash dining room. What do you call this? A uh, well, it's, why do I want to say gazebo? It's not, not that. A, not a gazebo. Your dining area is a breakfast nook. But there's a fancy. Are like, you talking about the island that we're on? I don't know. Now, now I want to say placenta. It's not a placenta. No. Kerwin, what's this counter called? What? What's the fancy word for this counter? Oh, it's not a, a peninsula. Peninsula. I didn't know what you were referring to. It's not. Pl <laughs> it's not placenta. I hope you're recording that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> placenta peninsula. What's the difference? Anyway, yeah. There's my, a big difference. <laughs> there, there really, really is. Yeah. So. Yeah, so sorry about the quality, but I have mine wrapped in the sparkle silver that I'm going for. So now I'm going to, like I said, do a vine slash flower look to it. See what I come up with. My wand is not going to be a Harry Potter wand. It's more like going to be, if you guys have seen Trolls, do you know like Guy Diamond? This would be his wand. <laughs> yes. I think that's the Trolls name, right? The glitter one? Hmm. You've never seen Trolls? I've seen it. I'm bad the with one names. Who, the one that farts glitter. I don't know his name. I'm I bad think with it's names. Diamond. I'm pretty sure. I'll just have Kerwin ask his girlfriend, Anna Kendrick. Do you guys who are married, do you have hall passes? Yeah. Kerwin says Anna Kendrick because he's gross. Oh, do I want brown vines or green vines? Oh, here's dark primo green. So which is better? Oh, if you're going to ask me about clay brands, girl, that's a loaded question. Is that In what your asking? opinion, what what do you think is better? Um, so honestly, it depends on what you're going for. I would say Sculpey 3, just no. Okay. Just no. And I think I have, where's that green go? Like, I don't want to like infect your fingers with green with your brown, but if you look at mine, like it just... Oh, I can see it already. It's yeah. so... Look, it's on my it looks thumb. looks more like Play-Doh. It is. It's hard to... You can't cane with it. You just can't. But, you know, if you're making a huge ceramic pot... I said ceramic, and I don't mean... Maybe I do. If you're decorating giant flowers on, like, a pot, mm -hmm. and you just need to shape general shapes and not do details, fine. Whatever. Primo is so much more... Um, I want to say firm, but when you like um, condition it you can make it do what you want it's more malleable mal oh thank you valuable and malleable hey hashtag anyway um but yeah it does what you want it to do you cannot cane with sculpey 3 it's too soft even if you don't condition it primo you can cane with easily i also like souffle though souffle is a tiny bit softer than primo but not like sculpey 3 I almost think with wood you could just press it on there. Yeah, I think it might have to. That's not going to roll there. And that's one thing that I've noticed about these texture sheets, y'all. Like, can I use this real quick? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> but like with the Mockins texture sheets, the indents are not, they're shallow. And I think to roll it how she was just doing, how I've been doing it, like with Dragon Scales, that deeper one, I think you can do it because it's deeper. You the can do wood it now. grain. I just wanted to okay. finish what I was doing. Yeah, that's okay. The wood grain isn't that deep. If you could tell, it kind of looks like it's deep on camera, but I just, I promise, it's. it's I need it back. Oh, sorry. It's not that deep. Not um, I actually tried to get one of those fondant things, which my. This is on, but I'll show you guys that in a later time because I have to mess with it before I even show you to see if it works. See, that to me looks awesome the way it is. Not, you need to do it all over, but like. Right. I like that. Yeah, and again, we still have children in the other room along with my crazy husband and my awesome mother-in-law. I wonder if she heard that. Um, so if you hear talking back there, that's what it is. That looks cool. So you that's what? why I use that to place it, because I don't know. You want me to hold everything? No, you no, got it. I got it. That seems to be working. You've got to press it really hard as I'm turning it. Yeah, see if they made these like this kind of texture, like the yeah. silicone type of texture, I think it would work. Or if we find those rollers. And I'm just using this to help press it on 
the flat spots. That looks really cool. Dark brown. Oh, yeah, brown. so I'm going to try to make some dark brown with this darkish green for the vines, I think. So some of this didn't... <laughs> so most of it worked out well. Gosh, I wish we had better lighting. I'm so trying to... There we go. So, but there are still a couple spots that are not quite, so I'm going to detail those out. Okay, so I finished putting the design on my wand, making the grooves deeper with this tool. Worked great for it. I don't know if you can. It's the ballpoint tool. This is the bigger ball one. <laughs> one of them. Yeah. So deepened my what grain. You there you go. Wood grain. And now I'm going to add some designs up here. You recommended the translucent. For what? For the designs that I was doing. Because so I was going to use the... Them? Yeah. So yeah, the only thing you may run into is when you put translucent, like say a swirl, it's going to be hard to put the pigment powders on just the translucent if you do it after it's on the wand. Unless you're like incredibly careful and use a tiny brush. The only other issue, you could pigment it before, like have your skinny little strip, however thin you want it. Should I use gold? You could. And then that, if you're going to use one of those to enhance like kind of the whole thing or you don't care if it gets on the base, you know, then do it while it's on there. That might be a better but idea. But if you pigment like a snake like this and then try to put it on, whoa, sorry. The pigment doesn't adhere well to other raw yeah, clay. That makes That's, sense. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. However you want to do that. Pigments. Ooh. Everybody loves them pigments. And then I just did a vine. Hold on, let me try to sneak it in so you can kind of see it. And I just mixed different greens and a couple Those of browns. So I'm thinking maybe the pearl white or the pink gold. Are you just doing or swirls or are we doing? Maybe mink? Yes, mix 646. Antique bronze. Those are so pretty. So I'm trying to get this really thin. So I want it to be a detail, not, I don't know, not a growth. That sounds really weird, but can I have the knife, please? Exacto. Yep. Is that his name? I don't know. Maybe he needs a name. Hector? Hector Zeroni? <laughs> Hector Zeroni? Yeah, that's off of. It sounds familiar. Holes. That's right. And I said holes, not hoes. I have a speech in her. Oh, balls. I broke mine.
Um, yeah, so I'm just adding a couple flowers like this, and then I, we're going to bake ours. So like there's my flower there. I may put some lines in these leaves just for detail. And then we're going to bake them both and be right back. You want to show them yours real quick again? Okay. Here's my one. Sorry about being out of frame. It's so pretty. Yeah, I told you she was impressive. All right, so we're going to stop it and we will be right back. Here is the wand I made. Very, very glittery. And I added some details to the leaves. I like the uh, marble that you did on the leaves. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that too. Deep, uh, and like next time I could have done like veins in the leaves maybe. But overall, I like it and it feels really good. I like the texture on the outside. So that is mine. And here comes Kalina's. So here's the wand. Is it all in there? No. Oh, the bottom is not the top. That's good right there. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that wood uh, detail. <laughs> wood grain. Wood detail. grain, yes. I love that. And what we were referring to earlier is there might be a surprise. We tried doing glow in the dark pigment at the bottom. We Pencil charged it. Purple. Yeah. We charged it in the light and you know, she went in the bathroom with all the lights <laughs> off and it we're we're gonna mess around with it a little bit more. I think there we, just wasn't enough for it to I think stick. So too. Yeah. We're gonna mess with like translucent in it, maybe we'll figure it out. So but, but that one is so cool. And I like using the two different pigments. In some places, it looks like little dark knots. Oh yeah, take that here. So you can see like in the middle, oh, let me press the phone. <laughs> Get it to focus. Look at that. You can see like little colors of pigments in the middle. Really good detail. It's amazing. Oh, thanks. There you go. She did a good job. This is her first time in painting pen, y'all. <laughs> but I learned from watching Crashly. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? <laughs> and learn from you right here sitting so oh, it was fun all right so like we said it's mother's day so mm -hmm. hey mom come in here what's she mean i want to present these to you these are your mother's day gift happy oh, mother's day how beautiful <gasps> look at that my <laughs> tilt it up a wee bit that is cool I love this. That is awesome. Do you want to diamond paint my board and tell me Ooh. how it feels? I need I need my diamond painting. <laughs> Just pretend. How does it feel? Oh, this is cool. Right? I like that one. That's a different one, eh? Oh, that feels good on my hand. <laughs> Try the other one. See how that one feels. I'm surprised how oh, balanced nice that one came out. Oh, nice and long for my fingers. Yeah. Yeah, she has super yeah. long fingers. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Yeah. And, I mean, our hands are essentially lined right up. Those are good for smacking faces, are they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, this works great. I love it. I especially like this. Yep. And Ever since, since we, my hand was messed up. Yeah. And since Thank we you, did girls. The, well, you're welcome. You can have this one, too, if you want <gasps> <laughs> I mean, Beautiful. I, I know I've given you a mini polymer clay pen if you want to keep it happen. I felt awkward. Like, I made one too, and I'm not going to give it to her. You don't have to give me that. I'm the asshole in the family, y'all. Every, every family has that one person. It's me. No, it's not. Never. Except for the fact that you got me started in diamond painting, and now I'm going to be in so you much trouble. thanking me. That doesn't make me an asshole. That makes me a saint. Yes, it is. It's sweet. <laughs> I love it. These are beautiful. Well, I had a blast doing this. Oh, look at that. And there Stay may be that. many more to come, y'all. So many ideas. She does, and they're See, really good. Even if you do it sideways, it still stands up. But that is cool. I love it. And you can put, we showed in the video, you can put the... Multi-spacer at the... Thank moment. you. Multi-spacer. Let's not have this noob. Multi-pass. <laughs> Multi-pass. <laughs> Multi-pass. What's it called if it's not a multi-spacer? Multi-placer? Placer. There's no, no spaces. Spaces aren't good. Spaces are not good in diamond paintings. Hey, I'm not the one who couldn't remember what peninsula was. I thought it was a... a what did I call it? Placenta. A placenta. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Placenta, peninsula, you know. Oh, goodness. Pencil sharpener. I do, do love this. <laughs> Lord wow. This actually works really well. Well, that's what I had in mind. That's why. Because I can, I don't, I don't have Gosh, to worry like, about cramping my hand thick? up. I'm like, nope. Yeah, next it's going to be a baseball one, be a like... softball one, a tennis one. A... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, how many sports enthusiasts do you have out I'm there? I'm just thinking about balls here. Like, <laughs> you got, oh, I didn't realize how naughty that was until I said <laughs> it. Oh, gosh, I love having those when I don't intend for them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Well, that's it for this one, y'all. Hope you enjoyed. Bye! You got to do the spirit fingers. Bye! Oh, good. That was perfect.